Hi, my name is Lorena Garcia and I just wanted to share some thoughts with you today. 49 people were killed at the Pulse nightclub shooting three years ago today. Now the vast majority of these people that were killed were queer people of color. This LGBTQ nightclub was supposed to be a safe haven for the queer community and its allies in Orlando. And as a lesbian woman of color, I know what it means to have a safe place where I can hold my wife's hand, where I can kiss her without being gawked at, where we can dance together and it's all normal. Now when that space is violated by such a horrific tragedy, it shakes the entire community to its core. I can't even imagine what the victims' families and those who were injured on this, day and this night three years ago must be going through, especially during a month that is supposed to be one of celebration. My heart goes out to all the victims their families and their survivors in Orlando. We're also witnessing due to the blatant hate coming from the current administration, more violent attacks on LGBTQ couples. Our rights are being systematically rolled back by executive power. Rules and regulations in our nation's agencies are promoting discrimination in healthcare and employment. Transgender asylum seekers are repeatedly being denied asylum by the courts and transgender military personnel are being banned. Today is a day of remembering, and it should also be a day that sparks us into action. Colorado will be celebrating Pride all month, even through September. So let's remember who sparked us into action that has brought us Pride today. Trans women and masculine presenting lesbians were constantly harassed by the New York City police force leading up to the Stonewall riots in 1969. They were forced to show their gender to female cops because of a criminal statute that allowed police to arrest people wearing less than three gender appropriate articles of clothing. Finally, after months of this treatment, the community had it. When a cop hit a lesbian over the head while forcing her into a car due to violating the dress code, she made a call to action. People around her started throwing pennies, bottles, rocks at the police. Now this ignited six days of protests and helped launch the gay rights movement. These people that took action were young, queer, transgender women, people of color, and lesbians. And today we get to celebrate what their sacrifices, their pain, and their fight has brought us. We can't let Trump and his puppets like Cory Gardner take us back to 1969. We can't let hateful, hate-fueled rhetoric and tragic events like Pulse nightclub happen again. We can't let another election go by without electing LGBTQ people of color to our federal seats. Our elections are more than policy discussions. They're more than red versus blue. They're about equal representation and it's time that we have the voices of those of us that have been silenced, of the people that have been attacked and of the communities that have been ignored representing us in office. I'm running for U.S. Senate in 2020 because it's time that we put people first by making sure that our voice is represented because it's our time.